YouTube and GimpTV.net. Welcome to another Gimp Know How tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make awesome photo manipulation in Gimp. Uh, namely, a cat unzipping out of a cat, inspired by Aviary's Phoenix promotional video. Um, anyway, uh, my last segment was called Cool Photo Manipulation, so no doubt this is going to be called Awesome Photo Manipulation in my photo manipulation series. May make one that's like crazy insane or something like that. After this one, of course. And, um... So yeah, all we need to do this is one stock of a cat and a stock of a zipper, and I'll have both of those links in the description. Uh, so we can go ahead and start them. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is open up your cat image. So go file open, and uh, it's the beautiful white kitten. Uh, now this is for more advanced users, so I won't go over every step that I'd normally go over with you guys. Uh, so on the cat layer, we need to duplicate this and then cut the top layer out. Uh, so you can zoom in and cut that out with the paths tool. Don't forget you can press control to link the selection, the path, press uh, enter to turn it into a selection, then click select feather and feather it by about seven pixels. Then click select, invert, then right click on the layer, add an alpha channel, then click edit, cut. Select, none. Duplicate this layer. And now uh, the top layer is going to be the one of the cat kind of with the open head. Uh, so if we're gonna do that, uh, we need to make an open head shape. So cut through an eye warp about like that, uh, and cut through a path tool about like that, hold control to link the selections, turn them into a selection, then click edit cut, we don't even have to feather them, then select none. Uh, now we're gonna go filters, distorts, eye warp, and just move these segments, I'm gonna move it a bit farther down too. Kind of move them in a mass shape. That makes us a very angry looking kitty, but that's because we can see the kitty behind it and it looks like its eyebrows are bunched. You can do a lot of interesting effects with this. Uh, so we're going to move the second layer up with the layer mo uh, with the move checked on, move the active layer. And we're going to move the second kitty up to about like this. But you'll notice we have something wrong, because how could a kitty be coming out of a kitty if it's the same size? So we got to scale it down. And with the change check, scale it oh, about like this. Move it up here about like that. And you'll notice that his body um, is coming up, and we cannot have that. Uh, Actually, a bit down more like this. Uh, now we're going to go filters, distorts, eye warp. Another eye warping can come in handy. Uh, just move the body down. Mm, we still got that little white streak. Let's fix that. Alright. So now we have the kitty coming up like this, and... Uh, you'll notice that this head is not that smooth. We'll fix that up later when we're going to apply the zipper. Uh, and we may have eye warped it too much, you see that. And so, uh, next thing we're going to do is make the cat look like it's actually coming out of the other cat. And we can't have it look the same, obviously. Um, well, we can, but it'll look cooler if we don't. Uh, so we're going to take the path tool and then make a selection around the eyes and the nose. Okay, then uh, enter to convert those to a selection, then feather them, oh, by about four. Then click select, invert, then go colors, uh, hue, saturate, no, brightness, contrast, contrast, and tone the brightness down just a touch in the contrast. Oh, just a touch. Uh, then select none. And that gives the kitty a slightly darker look, and we're going to do more yet. And uh, so, we need to make a layer over the kitty, and you can name that layer Overlay if you're one finicky about uh, naming your layers. And so, I'm going to take a fuzzy brush tool, and uh, 
with the layer on overlay, of course, and kind of brush, give the cat a brown spot right here, just to even further add to the illusion. Set that layer on overlay. Now we, we can blur that. Okay, so now the kitty kind of looks like it uh, has brown on part of his face, and that's okay. That's what we want. Maybe fill that, I don't know, there, there's you. Okay, so the kitty looks like he has brown on his face. Now we need to go about making this one a mask. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to zoom in on the top layer, and we are going to create a selection around the eyes. Enter, select, feather, three. And then we're going to take the gradient tool, select a black and a lighter black. Then with your gradient mode on linear, stroke down about like that. Then click select. Um, oops. Uh, I think I need to grow the selection by one because I didn't quite get the eye. Then click select to none. And that gives him a mask looking because his eyes are black instead of... Uh, uh, da, 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 alive. <laughs> um, I think that's about good for making this kitty look like a mask. Uh, the rest will be focused on the zipper. Uh, so we're going to import the zipper now, and we need to make it look like it's smoother than what it is. So we're going to go filters, distorts, eye warp, and just fix up the edges. Now, if your edges were smooth to begin with, you don't really need to fix this. Okay. And once your edges are more or less smooth, we can begin adding the zipper. So we're going to open up the zipper image in another file. Um, where did I see? Here it is. Zipper.jpg. Oops. And uh, take your square select tool, and actually your path tool for the first one, and I'm just going to make a selection of the whole entire thing, zipper and all. There it is. I'm going to press enter. And then this one we're not going to select invert. We're just going to click edit, copy, edit, paste. Make a new layer. This will be huge. We scale it down quite a bit. Once you have a zipper about this size, we're just going to orient it correctly. So use the rotate tool. Go out like that. And here's where the fun part comes in more eye warp. So go filters, distorts, eye warp, and we're gonna eye warp this one just to kind of fit. Oops, that eye warp came out bad. Not quite enough yet. Unfortunately, we're going to have to make the layer bigger, so go uh, layer, layer, boundary size, and tone it up. Keep on eye warping until you get your zipper more or less on the cat. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, and that zipper got so thin through eye warping, uh, it's not a big deal, we can fix that. Uh, we're gonna add this side now. Usually it's best to try not to eye warp the zipper so much, otherwise you'll get a bad effect. And uh, we need to make the layer bigger again, so go layer, layer boundary size, and... And now continue eye warping. Okay, uh, so here's where the fun part comes in. Uh, we're gonna desaturate this first. 
make it like a silver zipper. And we'll just clone this selection right here. Let's take your pass tool, make a selection around this zipper. Uh, edit, copy, paste, make a new layer. And now we have enough uh, zipper segments. I'm going to make this a bit smaller to fit with the trend, or thinner, as it. And now we should have um, enough zipper segment to kind of drag and drop, and occasionally eye warp. So continue doing that. Once you have the zipper how you'd like it, about like this, and I think that's okay for my, uh, I think it's okay. Uh, I would have spent more time on it, but a uh, tutorial wise, and I know I could have cut it out, but yeah, it, it just took a long time. It probably wasn't even due to the tutorial, I'm just using that as an excuse. Anyway, uh, we need to make it look more realistic by adding a shadow to the kitty's face where um, the zipper comes over. Ooh did not do the nose cut out very well. Um, so the kitty is going to be right here, so we're going to zoom in and make a new layer on normal and color it in with black with fuzzy brush again, of course. Okay, and then set uh, the opacity on that down and blur that. We're just looking for a shadow here, nothing more. Okay, and we have this little residue over from um, this, so just take your eraser tool and touch anything like that up. In fact, let's let's blur that a little bit more. Okay, once you get something about like that, I'm gonna add maybe a little bit fuzzy over here. Okay, once you get something about like that, uh, you're just about done. There anything else that uh, I didn't do on this image that I did do on the first image? Oops. That one. Here's the one I show you how to create. Here's the one I did create. Uh, the one I did create looks quite a bit better, but that's because I spent more time on it. Um, I'm actually going to sharpen up the zipper layer and merge all those down. So in all the zipper layers you have... And we're going to go Filters, Enhance, Sharpen. And that'll make the zipper stand out a little bit more. Um... As for anything else, I cloned off this logo. Probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Um, yeah, you now know how to make some pretty awesome photo manipulations in GIMP. Thanks for watching.